Yeah, look, we're glad to be back for a second year. Thank you very much for Gfinity and iRacing joining us for uh, the second season. Uh, inaugural season was great, um, but we're taking it up another level this year. Eight championship rounds starting in August and running through to the end of the year. Uh, supercars. Yeah, look, we can't race 52 weekends of the year, we know that, but we want to make sure that we're omnipresent in the market as much as possible. This gives us a really good opportunity to fill in gaps um, for fans to engage with the sport, but also to bring new uh, and younger fans into the sport as well. Uh, and teams this year have... Yeah, absolutely. It's an opportunity for the teams to extend their franchises out of the traditional world into the virtual and, and bring younger fans in, into their teams as well. Um, a big thanks to Peter and Jason at Boost for coming on early. We're really glad to have them on board again this year. And eSports as a... Well, I think for us as a sport, we're unique in that we're able to provide a virtual experience that is so much like the real experience. And there's very few sports in Australia that can offer that. And we're fortunate, we've got to take advantage of it. And this year well, I think for us it gives us the opportunity to integrate more of our tracks. Uh, the other racing platforms don't necessarily have as much uh, content as what iRacing has. And it's obviously a platform that our drivers and teams are largely familiar with as well. So it gives us a really good opportunity to integrate them. I don't have any further questions. Cole. Yeah, we're really excited to be involved uh, with this great new initiative. Um, Supercars is one of the great sporting brands in Australia. Um, we'll be, I guess, providing uh, the service, all the back end, organising the tournament play. Uh, and it's something that just extends us, our presence within the esports space into the traditional sports market as well. Tell us a little bit about Sure. Uh, Gfinity Esports Australia launched last year in Australia. We built this fantastic venue with Hoyts. Um, we ran the Elite Series last year, uh, which was a city-based club program across uh, two seven-week periods. And we really established ourselves as a premier provider of uh, production quality and content. We had amazing viewership uh, and we're now looking to extend uh, what we offer uh, to the broader sports and esports market. And the learnings from other... I think it's really important that we understand the community and the esports community. So there's a combination of bringing that community into, I guess, the, the uh, broader um, supercar audience as well, and using uh, those those lessons to um, you know, to drive a fantastic product. Mm -hmm. uh, and sure, this venue uh, was, uh, I guess, a labour of love for both ourselves and Hoyts. Um, it is the premier uh, permanent esports arena in Australia. We're able to hold about 200 uh, fans and we've got full production facilities so um, it, it enables us to produce a fantastic product across a number of uh, different formats and broadcast formats from free to air, pay TV to a whole lot of streaming platforms as well. Great and this isn't the first Sure. So um, Gfinity PLC, which is one of our parent companies, uh, is the partner of Formula One and they've just run the World Champion or the World Series for Formula One. They've also just come off the back of running the English Premier League E Series as well. So a whole lot of experience uh, with working with rights holders and bringing traditional sports into the esports market. Great. Cool. Anything else you want? Yeah, you know, uh, at Boost Mobile, we were really excited. We supported supercars in the series last year. Um, this new partnership with Gfinity, I think, is, is something that's taking it to another level. The move across to iRacing, give more realistic racing, which was uh, some of the feedback from last year. Um, so we're very excited about this new partnership. We're excited to see where supercars take this and uh, Boost Mobile's, you know, here to support. Obviously, you guys. Yeah, correct. Boost Mobile is the number one youth telco uh, in the country. Our focus is the youth demographic. Um, so this expansion of esports across, you know, from supercars and from the fan base of supercars across into a broader audience um, connects a lot with our brand and also our offering. Um, obviously, data uh, is important to everyone, um, especially the youth. Um, so, you know, whether they're watching supercars on their mobile phone or playing video games um, or just getting involved in esports um, there's a good connection back into us good take I think the, the move across to iRacing is a great one and I think that the, obviously supercars partnering with Gfinity does take it to that next level 
from that, I feel that there's going to be a lot more people wanting to actually engage. I know even, in fact, my, my, uh, my 12-year-old son, <laughs> who loves iRacing, um, he's like, when can I start? When can I get in? How can I get involved? Um, and obviously, uh, from Boost Mobile Racing's perspective, um, you know, there's um, been a lot around Richie Stanaway. Obviously, Richie Stanaway uh, is a former iRacing world champion. A lot of people don't know that about Richie and his background. Um, they only know what's happening right now at Supercars. But, you know, he was um, Bottas' teammate in uh, FP3, uh, iRacing world champion. So there's a whole story to be told around Richie, Boost Mobile Racing, and I think that's expansion into esports uh, and what Richie can achieve. Hopefully, we can get Richie involved uh, throughout the season of uh, esports.